坤特知音服务员聆听，各位尊敬的外事党奉献者，今天几号啊？今天是二十四。二零二，哦，今天是二零二三年四月二十五日，我们又荣幸的邀请到了圣巴特维努纳什纳辛哈马尔，给我们讲今天大伯家的谈早课，敬请聆听，哈里克什纳。Hare Krishna, Oma Oma Gyana Timaranda Syakyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Panchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhai Evacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar, Shri Vasadegor Bhaktavanda. So we're hearing Uta, Uttara, the mother of Maharaj Parikshit, inquire from her son about a, how there must be a special place for those people who have the greatest love for Krishna. We know there's very special devotees of Krishna like Mother Yashoda, Nanda Maharaj, the gopis, and so they have very deep, intense love for Krishna. So Krishna's abode, Krishna appeared in the district of Mathura. The district of Mathura includes also Vrindavan, and it's the best of all places, and it's manifested on the earth. The Krishna, when he appears in this planet, he he takes his, he appears there in Mathura and performs his pastimes and enjoys with all his devotees there. When Krishna, um. But Uttara has a doubt because she think she's thinking, well, Mathura is in the material world. So she wants to know, is there some other place which exists for Krishna's pastimes which is not subject to annihilation and like the places in the material world? Mm. So to... to Ordinary people, uh, by their material vision, it appears that the people of Mathura, they're subject to old age and disease and death. And to ordinary people, it appears that the people of Mathura are also in, subject to illusion of the material energy. So the Mathura, which is on earth, it does not seem to give immediate perfection to people. 
who just simply, just by living there. So Uttara doubts that the Mathura on earth could be the ultimate goal for human life. And she thinks that, you know, at the, t at the time of the annihilation or the, even the partial annihilation of the universe, at that time, just Mathura will also disappear. She's thinking like that. So this question will be gradually answered as we hear the this Brihad Bhagavatamrita. Mm. Because we will hear about the, the, the how Gop Kumar, a coward boy from Vrindavan, how he goes, how he travels, and different places he visits. So first of all, Maharaj Parikshit will describe that Goloka in the spiritual world is the destination of Krishna's most intimate devotees. Mm. And then he will speak about the the pastimes which Krishna performs, both in Goloka and in Mathura on earth. So Mathura, which is on the earth planet, it, ap it appears like it's located in the material world. But we should understand that that Mathura district is not touched by any illusion. Just like Lord Krishna himself and Lord Krishna's devotees and all of his pastimes are never affected by illusion. Even when they descend to the material world, they're not affected by the material energy. All of the paraphernalia for Lord Krishna's service, which means his names, his pastimes, and his, his favorite places, they all assume various forms. Narada Muni tells us that we should understand that just as each of these forms is eternal, each is also one and many. Narada Muni tells us that just as each of these forms is eternal, each is also one and many. 
上述的，上述这些都是每一个都是有着永恒的形象，但同时，他们又同时，他们又不是一体的，同时他们又呈现着各种许多的许多的形式。Yeah. So Yoga Maya arranges that the people who live in Mathura appear to be undergoing material changes. In Yoga Maya's arrangement, Mathura people are undergoing material changes. So Yoga Maya is Krishna's spiritual energy. And she does this to, in order to bewilder the non-devotees. Yoga Maya is the Krishna's spiritual energy. She does this to bewilder the non-devotees. Yoga Maya is the Krishna's spiritual energy. She does this to bewilder the non-devotees. Yoga Maya is the Krishna's spiritual energy. She does this to bewilder the non-devotees. Yoga Maya is the Krishna's spiritual energy. She does this to bewilder the non-devotees. Yoga Maya is the Krishna's spiritual energy. She does this to bewilder the non-devotees. Yoga Maya, she does not allow the non-devotees to feel any ecstasy, even after having personal meeting with Krishna. She will not allow them to feel any ecstasy. Yoga Maya 不允许被奉献者们嗯感受到狂喜。即便这些非奉献者和 Krishna 有着亲有的亲身的接，能够亲自的遇到他，他们也感受不到狂喜。So the the glories of Mathura are hidden from ordinary vision. 马图的荣耀不被。普通的普通人的视域是看不到马杜拉的荣耀，它被隐藏起来了。This shows us the greatness of that place, Mathura, that is so great that ordinary people cannot understand it. 这就向我们展示了这个地方的伟大之处，普通人是无法理解的。But actually, Mathura on Earth. Is eternal, and the glories of that place are also eternal. They're never destroyed, even when the universe is destroyed. 然而，事实上，马苏拉区域是永恒的，它的荣耀也是永恒的，永不毁灭的。即便是宇宙毁灭，它也不会毁灭。So if any devotee thinks that Mathura. May disappear, then they're mistaken. They're wrong. 倘若哪位奉献者以为马祖尔也会消失，那么他就大错特错了。Mathura cannot be destroyed, even by Krishna's own divine weapons, like the Surashan Chakra. 马祖尔永不毁灭。即便是主 Krishna 自己的神圣武器，神蝶也无法毁灭它。The the Sudarshan Chakra is powerful force of of time. It's a destroyer of the worlds. 神蝶是最有力量的，嗯，是。是，就是时间本身，它是这个世界上最大的毁灭者。But Sudarshan Chakra cannot touch Mathura. 即便如此，神蝶也无法触碰到马祖拉区域。So Mother Uttara, she is asking about some other place beyond the earth. Beyond Mathura on Earth. Uttara 母亲就询问了，在嗯地球之上的马祖拉，嗯
在在此之上的另外一个地方。Uttara is she is not fully understood the, the position or the greatness of that Mathura. Uttara 母亲，她，她母亲，她不能明白，这地球上这个 Mathura 这个区域的伟大之处。Many people have not heard about Krishna and his wonderful pastimes there. Actually, Mathura on Earth is even greater than the spiritual planet Goloka. And we will hear. We will hear in this book how Gopkumar understood the glories of Goloka, and at the same time he learned about this. This.、Uh, He, he, at the same time, he learned also. Well, first of all, Gop Kumar, he he understood the glories of Goloka, and he learned about the glories of Goloka from Narada Muni. Gop Kumar, 最终明白到 Golo Go Goloka 的荣耀，他也从拿着穆尼那里。And Lord Krishna, he came when he appeared in this world. He appeared in Mathura, and he brought with him all of his beauty and other wonderful qualities. When Lord Krishna, um, 降临尘世，显现在马图拉之地的时候，他就展示了他的美丽，还带来了他美妙的品质。Now, when, when the middle planetary systems in the universe are destroyed, at that time, Mathura becomes invisible. And then it merges back into Goloka. So we should understand Mathura is not destroyed; it remains unchanged. It's not affected by time. Krishna's pastimes are. So when that happens, then Krishna's pastimes are no longer seen in Mathura on Earth. When this happens, then Krishna's pastimes are no longer seen in Mathura on Earth. So it, it appears that Krishna continues to enjoy himself in Mathura on Earth. So it appears that Krishna continues to enjoy himself only in the spiritual world in Goloka. 只会在灵性世界 Goloka 继续享受如此一来，嗯 ，Goloka 就成为了灵性努力的终极的目的地。Now Narada Muni may sometimes he may talk about Mathura on Earth as being even greater than Goloka. So we should understand there is no contradiction, because the two places are not different. 
什么矛盾之处，因为这两个地方是没有不同的。So、whatever we say about one of the places is true for the other place. So, when Maharaj Parikshit heard this question from his mother, he was very happy and he bowed down to her. When Parikshit heard this question from And tears came out from his eyes, and his bodily hair stood on end. So he, Parikshit, will reply to his mother. First of all. Complimenting her nice question, and then he will offer respects to the Supreme Lord. He first complimented his mother's question, then he offered his thanks to the Supreme Lord. So Parikshit says to his mother, he said, "I know you live only for Lord Krishna." Parikshit 大惊就对他母亲说道，我知道。So being separate from him is unbearable to you. And the question you ask is is very very praiseworthy. No one ever asked this question before. You ask this question, it is worthy of praise. So Parikshit wants to encourage his mother so that she will hear everything he's about to say very carefully. Parikshit 大军就这样鼓励了自己的母亲，好让她小心翼翼的聆听他接接着接着他的话语。He he gave his mother the name Sri Krishna Jivita, which which means one who lives only for Lord Krishna. He called his mother Sri Krishna Jivita, which means one who lives only for Lord Krishna. It can also mean one who Lord Krishna brought back to life. 名字还有另外一个含义，就是，嗯，主 Krishna 是他起死回生的人。Lord Krishna had actually saved the life of Uttara because Ashwatthama had thrown the Brahmastra weapon at her. 主 Krishna 实际上是救了 Uttara 母亲一命，因为 Ashwatthama 向他发射出反射光。So, Uttara suffered in separation from Lord Krishna. Uttara 母亲感受到和主 Krishna 的分离之苦。So Uttara's name is mentioned with other ladies like Subhadra and Dropadi. And Kunti, that it was unbearable for them when Lord Krishna disappeared from the planet. Uttara's mother, with like Subhadra, Dropadi, Kunti, these women's names, um, put together, because when Lord Krishna disappeared, they felt unbearable. So, Uttara's father was a king named Maharaj Virata, and he had been adopted along with his sister. His sister was Satyavati. Uttara's father's name is Maharaj Virata. Um, he was 
被收养的，一一同收养的还有他的另外一个姐妹，名字叫 Satya Vata。Vati。Vati。Satya Vati， yeah。Yeah, so they were both adopted by a fisherman named Matsya. So Virata was sometimes called Matsya. And the name Matsya Sutta, Matsya Sutta meaning the daughter of a fisherman, indicates either Satyavati or Uttara. So, so we should understand Uttara feels separation even more intensely than the other ladies. So that's why it was. It was quite. It, there was nothing wrong with Uttara inquiring about confidential devotional service, because she's such a great devotee. So she wants to know about this very confidential devotion. So Uttara, Uttara, asked her to ask this. 机密的奉献服务的问题也不足为奇，因为他是这样一个伟大的奉献者。Yes, very unlikely anyone else could ask such a question. 其他的人是不可能问问出这种问题的。So Maharaj Parikshit says. That Krishna granted him the privilege to be born here, from from Uttara's womb. Parikshit 大君就说，主 Krishna 就给予了他从 Uttara 子宫中诞生的特权。So because I'm born from your womb, I'm the grandson. Of Krishna's dear friend Arjuna, who is the husband of Subhadra. Parikshit 大君就说，嗯，所以我是生于您的子宫，也是是 Krishna 的好朋友，嗯 ，Arjuna， Arjuna 的孙子，而而 Arjuna 呢又是 Subhadra 的丈夫。So Maharaj Parikshit understood that only with the special mercy of Lord Krishna would he be able to answer his mother's question. Parikshit 的大君明白，只有藉着主 Krishna 的特殊仁慈，他才能够回答自己母亲的问题。So he, first of all, offers his、uh, glorification to Krishna, and he describes the favors Krishna had shown him throughout his life. 首先，帕里克什大军荣耀了圣主奎什纳，他荣耀呃主奎什纳是如何在他的一生中都向他展示了仁慈。So Maharaj Parikshit took his birth in Bharatvarsh, which is considered the most pious land. 帕里克什大军生于。And he was born in the line of great Chaitya kings, as the, and the grandson of Krishna's friend Arjuna. He also was born in the line of great Chaitya kings, as the grandson of Krishna's friend Arjuna. He was born in the line of great Chaitya kings, as the grandson of Krishna's friend Arjuna. 
So because Krishna, because Maharaj Pariksha's birth was connected with Lord Krishna, it was very auspicious. Krishna protected his body from being destroyed by Aswatthama's throwing the Brahmastra weapon. And Parikshit's grandmother was Subhadra, who was Krishna's own sister. Hmm. Arjuna had other wives, but she, but Maharaj Pariksit is the son of Subhadra. So Maharaj Pariksha says to Uttara, he said that Krishna appeared within your womb holding the Surasan Chakra and his club also. And he appeared to protect both you and me. So he appeared to protect Maharaj Parikshit and Uttara. So from Maharaj Parikshit said, from my childhood, I've been searching for him, for that form of Lord Krishna. And that form of Lord Krishna, that is the meditation of the greatest Vaishnavas. So when Krishna was in the womb of Uttara, he had the forearm form and used, he used both his club and his Surasan chakra. And by using the, the, the Surasan chakra and club, he could get rid of the Brahmastra weapon. And the first canto over the Srimad Bhagavatam is described how Lord Krishna appeared. That he had four long, beautiful arms and earrings of gold, fiery gold. And he was so angry that his eyes appeared to be red. And his, the club which he was carrying was constantly, it was constantly circul, circul, uh, encircling him, just like a shooting star. The Krishna whirled that club around, protecting the womb, protecting the child in the womb. Krishna's, 
，就好像一一一个星星一样，绕着它旋转。从而保护了子宫当中的胎儿。And because of Uttara being so surrendered to Lord Krishna, Krishna entered her womb and saved the body, saved Maharaj Pariksha's body. 由于 Uttara 母亲是如此一个臣服的奉献者，以至于主 Krishna 亲自进入到她的子宫。Maharaj Parikshit, he was the last remaining descendant of the Kurus and the Pandavas. Parikshit is the Kuru family of the Pandavas. Was almost des destroyed by that Brahmastra weapon of Ashwatthama, but Krishna protected him. 当时，嗯，马哈拉帕里克什的的身躯体几乎就被阿什瓦塔玛所发射出的 Brahmastra 武器所毁灭。然而，就 Krishna 保护了他。So seeing that beautiful form of Lord Krishna made a deep impression on the mind of Maharaj Parikshit. That form of the Lord was only the size of a thumb, but he was transcendental. He had a beautiful body, and he wore a dress of lightning yellow and a helmet of gold. His body is very beautiful. 嗯，他的呃，他穿着闪亮的黄袍，头戴金盔。So Lord Krishna was, uh, he he had his four hands and earrings of gold. All of this was seen by Maharaj Pariksha. So throughout his childhood, Maharaj Pariksha tried to find that same form of the Lord. He was always looking for him, the same form which he had seen in the womb. Pariksha, So whenever he would see somebody who looked something like that form of Krishna, he would ask himself, "Is this is this the same person?" When he saw that someone looked similar to him, he would ask himself, "Is this the same person?" He would ask himself, So Maharaj Parikshit is given the name Parikshit means because it means examiner, because he's always examining people to find out if this is the same person who had protected him in the womb. Parikshit 大军有嗯有他这个名字就是呃检验者。So he in this way, Maharaj Parikshit was always thinking about the Lord. Even in his childhood, he would meditate on the Lord. He just like that. 
，就一直想着主，冥想主的这个形象。So Maharaj Parikshit says that by the grace of Krishna, he was given all the qualities of great saint. And Maharaj Parikshit also became famous for defeating Kali, the personality Kali. And Maharaj Pariksha said, because he faithfully followed the Lord, Lord, he faithfully followed Lord Krishna, so he gained all kinds of opulences. But then he says also, at the end, he said, a Brahman is cursed. Made me renounce everything. And Maharaj Pariksha said this was the arrangement of Krishna, that Krishna made me renounce everything. Maharaj Pariksha said this was the arrangement of Krishna, that Krishna made me renounce everything. Maharaj Pariksha said this was the By Krishna's blessing, Maharaj Parikshit had wonderful qualities, like he was very kind and caring for people, and his respect for the brahmanas. Maharaj Parikshit also strictly followed all the all of, all the principles of Shastra and and kept all of his promises. So Maharaj Parikshit had these qualities. He inherited these qualities from his previous. Ancestors who were all very pious kings. At the time of Maharaj, at the time of Maharaj Pariksha's birth, the astrologers. Uh, made predictions about his qualities and behavior. So that's all described in the first canto, twelfth chapter. There's many, many different wonderful qualities describing Maharaj Pariksha. 圣典博加瓦谈第一篇第十二章，描述了 Pariksh Maharaj 拥有的不同品质。So by the grace of Krishna, when Maharaj Parikshit was ruling, it it was an amazement for everyone. 及这圣主 Krishna 的仁慈，当 Maharaj Parikshit 统治世界的时候。The kingdom was had no disturbance, and there was an abundance of wealth for everyone. But when Maharaj Parikshit received the curse. From the son of Samika Rishi, that son named Shringi, when he cursed Maharaj Parikshit, then Maharaj Parikshit immediately gave up everything. But when 
但是当，嗯，萨萨米萨米塔圣人的儿子施尼诅咒了布里克什的时候，他便立即放弃了一切。Maharaj Parikshit understood that this curse was Krishna's arrangement for his benefit. Maharaj Parikshit 明白，这个诅咒是 Krishna 特意安排的，而且是为了他的好处而安排的。Maharaj Parikshit could never have done anything offensive to a great saint. And that son of the great saint, that son, uh, son of Samika, who is called Shringi, uh, he he would never have cursed the king unless Krishna. Empowered him to do it. Samika, 圣人 Samika 的儿子申宇，也永远也绝对不不会诅咒 Parikshit Maharaj， 除非主 Krishna 赋予他这种诅咒的力量。And if Krishna wanted. He could have arranged for Maharaj Pariksha to neutralize the curse, but he didn't. So it awakened a sense of renunciation in Maharaj Pariksha. 这便唤醒了 Parikshi 大军的气绝感。Maharaj Parikshi understood that Krishna is the controller of both the material and the spiritual world. Parikshi 明白 ，Krishna 是物质世界和灵性世界的控制者。And Krishna had personally arranged, in the form of the Brahmana's curse, to detach Maharaj Pariksha from everything material. Maharaj Pariksha said, "I was too much attached to family life." So Krishna saved me. Maharaj Parikshi 大军说道，由于我太过于依附家庭生活，因此主 Krishna 就便拯救了我。He says, "Out of fear, I was able to save myself." 由于恐惧，我得以救救赎我自己。Or actually, Krishna saved Maharaj Pariksha because he appeared before him so that he could get out from the material world. So Maharaj Parikshit, he considered himself to be sinful, but he was grateful to Krishna. Parikshit 大军认为自己是有罪的，但是他对 Krishna 心怀感恩。He said, "Krishna appeared before me in the form of the Brahmana's curse." Parikshit 大军说。主 Krishna 以以被婆罗门的诅咒的形式显现在我面前。So when a person is attached to family life and he gets cursed like that, 
then naturally he'll be frightened. So this is auspicious for the conditioned soul. The fear will it will help help to encourage the or inspire the person to renounce. So Krishna arranged for this Brahmana boy to curse Maharaj Pariksha. Maharaj Pariksha said, when I heard the curse, then I took it as very welcome. I welcomed it. Maharaj Pariksha so Krishna in the form of a Brahmana's disciple was dragging me out of the blind well of family life. Krishna and he arranged that I could fast until my death on the shore of the Ganga. So it was it was arranged that somebody told Maharaj Pariksit that he had been cursed and that he would die in seven days. If he hadn't, if, if Maharaj Pariksit didn't know about that, he would not have gone to the Ganga. He would not have given up everything. He wouldn't have fasted in preparation for death. So Maharaj Parikshit described the Brahmana's curse as the cause of fear. But actually, actually, Maharaj Pariksit wasn't afraid at all. He was he wasn't afraid, and he even he was even pleased. He was hoping to get a reaction for his offence. So when he heard that he'd been cursed, he, he welcomed it. He thought very good. Yeah, before he heard about the curse, just before he heard about the curse, Maharaj Parikshit was saying that because I have neglected the teachings of the Supreme Lord, I must certainly expect some difficulties to overcome me. So 
Maharaj Pariksha said, I only want that whatever calamities come upon me, that I, I may be freed of the sinful reactions and not commit such an offense again. So he wanted that, that the reactions for his sins should come immediately. And he wanted that the punishment would come on him directly. And the reaction shouldn't come on to his sons or anybody else. It should come on to Maharaj Pariksit. Also, Maharaj Pariksit was describing his family life as a blind well. And it was very, almost impossible to get out. But Lord Krishna kindly got him out and helped him to come to the shore of the river Ganga. So Lord Krishna in the form of Vasudev, he is the deity of consciousness. And it was arranged that Maharaj Pariksit would take to fasting from food and, and drink until he died. Because Krishna had personally taken control of him, Maharaj Pariksha did not mind. Uh, he did not, but because Krishna had taken control of him, Maharaj Pariksha didn't stay in his palace. And he didn't try to do anything to counteract the curse. He didn't try to do any special prayasya to atone for the sinful reaction. So Krishna is Vasudev, the super soul, and he is the son of Vasudev, who is the reservoir of compassion and gentleness. Krishna is so it was only natural for Krishna to favor his dear devotee Parikshit by arranging all of that, all of these circumstances. So 
All right, we'll stop here today. We'll ask if there's any questions. Mm,第一个问题是，嗯，来自于军委，亲爱的奉献者们，马图拉是指，是指亚都国吗？奎什纳和五兄弟一起上演酷如之野的那个年代吗？ Krishna So Nityananda Ram Das is asking when the planet Earth and the universe uh, are destroyed, are annihilated, um, the Mathura in the Earth, in, in which form does Mathura on Earth exist eternally? Well, it was described that when the other planets are annihilated, then at that time Mathura becomes first of all invisible and then it merges into the form of Goloka and remains there until there's creation again. Goloka,而且他将一直停留在那里,直到这个创造再次发生。Okay. 为什么他儿子不接受？仁慈又报仇，烧死了那么多蛇。嗯，Maharaj, when Parikshit, King Parikshit, is it the mercy from Krishna that Parikshit Maharaj was beaten by snakes? Why? His son didn't accept this mercy from Krishna and revenged by burning a lot of snakes. Well, because the son of Parikshit was very attached to his father and he wanted to get revenge on the snakes for killing his father. <coughs> but then the sages came and they gave instruction to to the son and they told him it's not good you can't kill all the snakes like that it's not proper <coughs> And so it's a pastime to show the importance that, you know, the Kshatriya kings, they will always take instruction from the saintly persons and they will be guided by saintly persons. Mm. Okay. Uh, he's asking 
whether it is the mercy from Krishna that Pariksh Maharaj was um, killed by the snake. Yes, it was the arrangement of Lord Krishna for Maharaj Pariksit to go back to Godhead. And it also kept intact the cursing of the, the boy. Okay. Whether Vrindavan Bolo, Gokula and Madura is the same place? Yes, they're the same, but at the same time they're different. Mathura is a district and Vrindavan is one place, one area within the district of Mathura. First, the residents of Dwarka experience vapor lumba. They also miss Krishna when he's absent. Yes, they do. Yavati Sachi when Dwarka the Jiminan Gansho Shri Yoga Funny Jiku the Gansho, Hamay Dan Krishna Bazaar Shore Yes, Nyanta, Vidash Shida. Xia Yun Tish Lai Zi Yu, Ashun Yavati Arvin Tish. It is said, by chanting the Lord's holy name, one can derive all the stipulated energy synchronized from all sources. What source is it talking about? B篇第二章十节十二章第一篇第二章十节十二说由于通过唱诵主的圣名一个人可以从所有的源头那里获得能量 What's the English again? The English by chanting the holy, the Lord's holy name, one can derive all the stipulated energy synchronized from all sources. So she's asking, what sources is it talking about? Uh, well, Krishna's energies are all there in the holy name. Krishna and the name are not different. So Krishna's holy name is Krishna and Krishna is the possessor of all energy, all transcendental energies. Just like there's Ladini Shakti and there's Chit Shakti and there's some bit shakti, right? Those are the spiritual energies, the pleasure potency. The, the ladini shakti is the energy by which they experience pleasure in the pastimes. And the sandini shakti is the potency by which maintain everything. And some bit shakti is the knowledge potency. So all, all of these different things are there. Krishna 
指的是 Krishna 的能量，因为主 Krishna 的名字和他是没有区别的。主 Krishna 的名字就是 Krishna 本人，而主 Krishna 拥有所有的超然能量，包括他的嗯喜乐能量、拉蒂尼沙提，还有他的 Chit 沙提存在能量，以及他的 Samvit 沙提。三，就是他知识能量，他的三天里上的维系能量，也都是在那里。OK。呃，第三个 ，How can we overcome the tens of fans of the holy name？ 他的第三个问题是我们如何克服对圣名的冒失？圣名实际当中第十项冒犯。Well, the tenth offense is not to have complete faith in chanting the holy name, and to maintain material attachment. So, how to overcome? You have to, how to you have to have faith in the holy name. You have to have faith means you have we have to you have to hear more about the glories of the holy name, and you have to understand more the the nature of. Uh, the, the, this chanting process, how this chanting process is the means to perfection, and it's a perfection in this age of Kali. And so, we have to we have to have faith. Faith is important, very important. And if the what stops us having faith in the holy name is our attachment to material things. So we have to let go of the material. We have to hold on to the spiritual. 对圣名的十项冒犯当中，第十个冒犯是，嗯，对唱诵圣名没有完全的信心。呃，即使明白很多这方面的要，教诲仍维系物质的依附。所以，如何克服这第十项冒犯，就是要对圣名充满信心。要更多的聆听有关于圣名的荣耀，相信、坚信，在卡利年代获得完美的唯一方法就是通过唱诵主的圣名，而且，嗯，很重要的就是要依放弃对物质的依附，要紧紧的抓住灵性事物。So how to let go of the material? You have to take up. You have to do more chanting, and you have to do more hearing and more devotion. The more you engage in devotion, the less you'll be attached to the material. 那么如何放弃物质的依附呢？就是要多聆听、多念诵、多做奉献服务。通过更多的从事奉献服务，就会不依附物质的事物了。对。Okay. Okay. 下一个问题来自于，呃，弟弟，呃，君伟，君伟他提举手了，您是，呃，君伟弟弟，您说了，君伟的奉献者，我想问一下，那个马图拉，马图拉不是亚度王朝是吧 ？Her question is that， 呃，马图拉，嗯，马图拉。Doesn't refers to the Yadu dynasty, right? Well, Mathura, Mathura is the the, the Yadu <coughs> Yadu dynasty. Generally, it's Yadus. Yadu dynasty, they went to Dwarka, they all moved to Dwarka, you see, initially they were in Mathura, then later on they moved to Dwarka. Yadu Wang族人呢, they were in Mathura, then they were in Dwarka. Now I want to ask Guru, like Mathura, 像温达文呐、啊，就是在灵性世界和我们这个物质世界，这个温达文都是有的，还是就，嗯，就是我的意思就是说，灵性世界有个温达文，然后咱们这个物质世界有一个温达文，是这样的吗？是，是这样。啊，那那我还有一个问题就是，比如说温达文还有马图拉呀、亚杜王朝就这样的，嗯，库什纳曾经显现的这些胜利的地方
，如果物质世界毁灭的时候，这些圣地依然存在吗？只是我们肉眼看不到了，是不是？肯定，我们看不到。物质世界毁灭的时候，我们什么都看不到。但是他们还存在，是吗？是。圣地还在。对啊。啊。好的，谢谢 Guru。OK。谢谢翻译。OK。OK。呃，下一个问题是来自于，呃 p r a s h a n t a d e v a d a s i h a r i Krishna， 你们 Guru 和奉献者，物质世界毁灭的时候，灵魂被 Vishnu 吸入腹中，等到再创造的时候，又被释放出来。所以说，灵魂永不毁灭，是这么理解吗？感恩 Guru 明示。Prasanta Devdas is asking, when the material world was uh, is annihilated, uh, so all the souls are absorbed into the abdomen of Lord Vishnu, and as soon as the creation happened again, the souls are released released from the abdomen of the Mahavishnu. Therefore, the soul is called. Mm, eternal, never annihilated. Uh, whether this understanding was right. Yeah. Okay. Can you? Yeah. Can. Can. This can understand. Can. Next question. Rukmini, David, does it? Why did Why Parikshit was cursed like this? To arrange the speaking of Srimad Bhagavatam. 就是为了，嗯，安排圣典博加瓦谈得以被讲述。下一个是来自 Chaitanya， Chaitanya Ruba， 正常念诵圣名的奉献者能把人的灵魂魄从地狱中拯救出来吗？安放回自己的躯体吗？有人说，奉、嗯、献者的灵魂。被扣到地狱里了。嗯 ，devotee who chanted the holy name can 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 they deliver deliver their souls from the hell in again into their own body? Because somebody says that devotees' soul have been. Uh, Punished into the hell. So, question is that, 你你的问题不太清楚是谁的灵魂被。您您再打一遍好吧，再添加入吧。我们先看下一个问题。不太清楚您这个灵魂是他自己灵魂还是别人的灵魂。The her question is that the the devotee ah the yeah the devote because ah some devotees soul have been punished into the hell and if the devotee chant the holy name can the soul be deliver delivered back into the body of the devotees again? Yes. 可可以。啊，下一个问题是，下一个问题是，呃，弟弟，你们 Guru Mahara， 请问 Krishna 为什么安排潘多兄弟的后代 Parikshvan 一人存活下来呢？啊、uh, ，Why Krishna arranges only， 嗯、uh,。Parikh, uh, alone exist, survived. Uh, out of all the descendants of the Pandavas. Well, what happened was the Pandavas, when Lord Krishna departed from the world, the Pandavas had been told that they should also leave the world. 可是呢，离开这世界的时候，就潘达巴兄弟们，他们也
到也该就离开世界了。Yeah, that the first canto describes about the departure of all the different people. Dhritarashtra went into the forest and he gave up his body in the forest in meditation. And then also Grandfather Bhishma gave up his body on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. For Christians that um, maybe um, because in the lecture it said that uh, after the battle of Kurukshetra that that uh, only the the only descendants from all the Kurus and Pandavas is uh, Pariksh Maharaj. Yes. So yeah, she's asking why Krishna made this arrangement that only well, Pariksh. Well, they came to the they came to fight the battle at Kurukshetra. All the armies, all the kings, and and they fought, and they all give, they all fought to death. They killed each other. It was the nature of the battle that everyone died. They all killed each other, except for the Pandavas and a few others. The Pandavas survived, and a few others also, a few others, not many, but most of them, they all died in the battle. <laughs> You have to un understand Krishna's plans are inconceivable. Don't ask me to explain all of Krishna's plans. You ask Krishna himself, his plans are inconceivable. Grandfather Bhishma said this to Maharaj Yudhisthira. But everyone who was there who came and they took part in Krishna's pastimes, they all got liberated back to Godhead. Of course, some of them were demigods, they went back to the heavenly planets to continue as a demigod, and others went back to the spiritual world to be with Krishna. Mm. Oh, Uh, Guru Mahal, since the chanting the holy name is the best method for Kali Yoga, why Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu talk about uh, Krishna Kata with his confidential associates? 
because by chanting the whole by hearing Krishna Kata, we'll be able to chant the holy name better. We'll have more faith and we'll have more inspiration to chant the holy name. And chanting, hearing Krishna Kata, it's not different from chanting the holy name. Krishna's presence, hearing about Krishna's pastimes and Krishna's qualities, Krishna Kata, it, it, it's not different from chanting the holy name. In the course of talking about Krishna Kata, we will, we will chant Krishna's name, we will mention Krishna all the time. Krishna的品质,Krishna的交识观,Krishna的圣名都是一样的 Since the holy name is so powerful, then why we do they need to uh, to to lecture on Sashra? Because by hearing the Shastras we have more faith and more desire to chant the holy name. Without hearing Shastra you cannot just tell people chant the holy name. They want to hear why we should chant the holy name. So the Shastras are telling us the glories of the holy name and why we should chant the holy name. Shutirupa,Dedasi,Gan,Timbaguru,Chimwa,Guru,我们应该怎样培养像Parikshit王那样,对聆听Krishna故事的品味呢?现在课程那么多,有没有简单的路径可以帮助新人稳定有序的灵
and gradually one day you will develop an interest and taste to hear. Because Okay. Uh, the, the second part of the question is that um, now there are so many lectures. Are there any uh, quick road that can help the new fathers to grow spiritually and steadily? Yes. Chanting 16 rounds every day. And following four principles. Only eating Krishna Prasadam. And only chanting the holy name and talking about Krishna. The soul and the ghost are, are they the same? No. Ghost is a, a, a soul which has only a subtle body and no gross body. A soul is the spiritual body. She's asking, what, uh, how does the ghost come into being? Well, when a person uh, commits suicide, he may be given the body of a ghost. Or if a person dies of alcohol or drugs, they may get a ghost body. Or if they die in the mode of ignorance, they may be given the ghost body. Hmm. Oh, Well, naturally, when we lost Prabhupada, we feel very, we feel very painful in the heart. We feel very distressed. So we had to spend many days just talking about Prabhupada and just discussing. Prabhupada's teaching and Prabhupada's mood and mission. So, we, 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 we,
都在讨论帕帕德，讨论帕帕德的使命，讨论帕帕德的，嗯，他心态。嗯，怎么样 ？And gradually, gradually we began to learn to associate with Prabhupada through his teachings and through his instructions by his what we call vani. 逐渐我们学习到，嗯，通过帕帕德的教导、帕帕德的训示和他联谊，他的教导和训示被称为是 vani. So we were very much dependent on his physical presence, but once we lost him, then we understood. Now we have to become more dependent on his instructions. 在此之前，我们十分依赖于他的亲身联谊，但是当他离开之后，我们就明白到，现在我们要更多的依赖于他的训示了。OK. 来自于沙玛，哈利·克什纳，请问有一种说法，只要触碰过帕帕德的书一次，人生都会发生转变。这个触碰指的是什么？是深入的阅读吗？还是别人拿在手里翻一下也算呢？ It is said that, um, once, um, even once, if if one person touch. Shri Prabhupada's book. Only once, his whole, his or her whole life will be changed. Uh, what does this touch refer to? Does it refer to reading the book, or only uh physical, physically touch the book and take take the book in into one hand and turn over the pages? Yes. Well, if people just take the book in their hand and. Look at the pages and touch it. Then it, it's certainly some kind of piety there. There's some pious activity there, so it's a blessing for them. He said, "Some people take this book, then read, 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 <笑>好，下一个关景如顶拜孤辱，巴拉吉塔第一章，孤辱之夜之战。我们平时在家庭中，兄弟姐妹之间和父母之间的关系，如果处理不合，是容忍吗？还是家庭战争呢？So <笑> in the first, the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita is about the Battle of Kurukshetra, and during our daily family life, if there are some, uh, so how to deal with the relationship with brothers, sisters, and parents? If there are disagreement, uh, should we tolerate it? Is it also a fighting uh, of the family? Yes. Well. Yeah, we should tolerate. We should tolerate, but have to understand that disagreements that it's not very serious. That you may disagree with. We hope it won't be very serious, but we should tolerate differences, and at the same time, uh, understand there will always be some differences of opinion in the material world. 我们应该容忍，嗯，就我们，嗯、呃，就是我们要明白呢，就这个家庭之间的意见不合呢，它也已经是物质世界的一部分。我们希望呢，这个家庭战争不会太太严严重。Next one, 下一个李海华，请问灵性体与精微体的不同点是什么 ？What What's the difference between spiritual body and subtle body? 
difference is subtle body is material. A spiritual body is not material, it's spiritual. Material, material body is temporary, full of suffering and ignorance. But the spiritual body is eternal, full of knowledge and bliss. There are two kinds of energy. There is material energy, which is temporary, and there is the spiritual energy, which is eternal. Material energy can be gross and can also be subtle. Now, the subtle material energy are things like the mind and the intelligence. Everyone has a mind, but you, you don't see the mind. You know you have a mind, but you've never see, you can't say this is the mind. Okay. I, I lend the book to others or distribute to others. I found out some allow the kids to t tore apart the books, some uh, throw away, some even um, make it very dirty. Is that offense to the shasha? Yes. It's not your offense. But the person who had the book is offensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should take care of the books, we should keep them clean. There's no war in the spiritual world. She's asking uh, whether the Kuruk Chechur battle is a spiritual battle. <laughs> well, not really, no. Mm. Arjuna, you could, Arjuna's service there is spiritual because he's serving Krishna. But not everyone has come there with that same mood to serve Krishna. Mm -hmm. 
Kshatriyas, many Kshatriyas, they came there. Some, some want to win honour and to win glory and some are happy just even to die in the battle to go to the heavenly planet. So different people have different moods in taking part in the battle. Of course, because Lord Krishna is present, everyone benefited. Okay. So, um, Guru, what is the leader of higher quiver? And what does, uh, what, um, and the Madhu, Madhu and Kaitaba. Oh, yeah, Kaitaba. What, what do they refer to the, the Anarta? Yeah, there. Well, Hagriva, he's a horse incarnation of Krishna. And uh, Madhu and Kaitaba, they're two demons. They tried to steal the Vedas, and Krishna had to kill them. And bring back the Vedas. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Uh, well, you you have some deity you don't want, you should give to another, find another devotee who may want it. The picture of the deity. A, a picture of the deity. Well, you can... You can bury it, put it in the earth. It came from the earth, it's paper. It's in, picture is in, on paper. So you can put the paper back in the earth, back in the ground. If you can bury it, make some hole somewhere. And what about the used calendar? Well, used calendars are the same thing. If there's no picture of Krishna there, then you can just burn it. Mm. 
呃，请问古尔哪里可以找到十拉十二个提拉克名字的意思的解释？就、so, this is the guru. I don't know the significance. Well, this tw the the different names which we chant when we put on tea light, they represent different temples of Lord Vishnu. So we put tea light, tea light, when these different, um, tea light, represent Vishnu's temple. We want to remember Krishna, so we mark the body with the tea light. And we chant the different names of Lord Vishnu for the different parts of the body. We hope to remember Krishna, so we put on tea light when we pray to the name of Vishnu. We pray to the name of Vishnu in different parts of the body. But I've never heard any explanation why these each these names are given for the different parts. 但是我从来没有听到哪个地方解释说，在具体的不同部位，就是给不同的这些特定的名字在不同的部位的解释。But we're given these names. We're given these names to chant for the different parts of the body. 嗯，然而我们就得在不同图图提拉克的时候呢，就被就被告知要唱诵这特定的名字。嗯。嗯哼。下一个 ，Oliver， 顶拜咕噜，请问灵魂到了天堂还会回物质世界吗？为什么战场上灵魂不能回灵世？天堂灵魂回到物质世界，战场人们，战场上的人为什么回到天堂而高兴呢 ？Obeisance to Guru. My question is that, um.、嗯 The soul that has gone to the heaven will will they also return back to the material world? Yes. 是的，灵魂到了天堂还会回到物质世界的。You go there for some time. You use up all your pious activities, then you come back. 嗯，他们去天堂一段时间。耗尽了虔诚活动之后，再会回到地球。Just like maybe you go to America, you take some money, you spend some money there. When you've no money, then you come back to China. 就好像你你去美国，然后你花完钱了以后，没嗯，然后没钱了，你又回到中国了。Okay. Okay. Uh, why why? The soul in the battlefield cannot go to the spiritual world. Well, they can, if they're thinking of Krishna. If they're thinking of Krishna, they can go to the spiritual world. If they surrender to Krishna. If they surrender to Krishna. 因为这些人对于灵性世界是没有有关灵性世界的知识。And they're happy just to go to higher planets and enjoy sense gratification there. 嗯，他们就为能够去天堂星球呢，享受感官快乐而而满足。But of of course they go there is only temporary; they cannot stay there. 当然，他们只能短暂的停留在那里，而不能永恒的待在那里。嗯。顶拜咕噜和顶拜咕噜，自己的衣服不不常穿的或者没有穿的，该怎么出捐出来合适吗？嗯，最后，哦，哦，不是做咕噜，嗯 ，How to deal with？ 
my clothes if I don't wear them, or if I don't usually wear them, how to deal with them? Is it proper that I donate the, these clothes? Yeah. Good. 很好，下一个，西西，灵魂回到灵世界还会掉下来。If the soul return back to the spiritual world, will they fall down again? Yes. If they go back to the spiritual world, usually they don't fall back again. Usually they go to the spiritual world; they'll stay there. 嗯，一般来说，他们回到灵世界就不会堕落，他们就。Mm. Okay, that's all the question. All right, so we'll stop here today. So we thank Guru Mani Maharaji for her translation. We thank all the devotees for their questions and participation. We pray that you're all well and have a good week. Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai. Gorbhakta Vrinda Ki Jai.